Hello and welcome to episode 6 of the Youth Squad Legend series with Walkley Wanderers. It's quite warm, it's the sad reality of recording in the summer. We've potentially got our final game here in the uh, North East Counties Football League Division 1. And what I would consider our first proper derby. Alum are sponsored by the My Journey Podcast. Gotta be honest, not a podcast kind of guy. Think it's about business. Yeah, just go and check it out, it'll be in the description. Not even the the start of the first game and I can feel myself melting. So Hallam is setting up in a 4-4-2. We need a victory. We need our best players out here. But instead of Loft, we're going to go for JJ in the net. This is it. Hallam against Walkley. I did five hours of work last night to sort out the next division's teams. Let's see back-to-back -back promotions here. Jay Waters taking up a very advanced position here. Where's the cross? It's not bad. Callum Kirk should have thrown himself at it. I think if we are going gonna have some success it will be down the wings that's a lovely touch by old Sammy Birch in the box oh Sammy that's a tackle yes Sammy Birch it's clean Callum Kirk off you go they've got one defender we must score this has to be a goal delivery not bad and onside Johnny Yates for Walkley yes that needed to go in is Danny Crookside on a mission Oh, tries to get that ball onto Jason White. Well played, Walkley. Hallam corner, 36 minutes gone. JJ thinks about coming out. And he was stuck in no man's land there. If that was on target, we would have been doomed. Should be Callum Kirks. Please don't blow the whistle. A chance for Walkley before half time. Johnny Yates tries to pull it across for Sammy Birch. Hallam had twice the amount of shots in that first half, but only one on target. They are not accurate at all. Just a little piece of information for me. Make my mind up. Oh, well, that is accurate then. It's smashed into the top corner by number nine. We've got some work to do to find the promotion. Great defense or not, no one's stopping that. Nice, plenty of players up here. Oh, diving header. Joshua Fisher must do more there. Get back up, Joshua Fisher, well played. Sammy Birch, we got a run from Johnny Yates. This is a great one. Come on, Johnny, get us that promotion, lad. It's Johnny Yates. Yes! Spin and Keshi Vos might be away. He doesn't have anything left to give. Keshi Vos. Oh no, he's going to get caught up. Or is he? Keshi. Unlucky. All right. Time to make subs. Lamptey picks it out. That's wonderful. Oh my goodness. Johnny Yates has got an hat trick. A hat trick to get us promoted. William Lamptey with the wonderful lofted ball into the box. Sammy Birch, I believe, made the assist. Johnny Yates with three. That is incredible behaviour. No, it's Callum Kirk putting the ball back across. Credit to him. Passes don't usually come off, but when they do, with this quality of footballer, it is a magical sight. It's Danny Crook's side. Another ball here for Johnny Yates. These central defenders are knackered. It's four for Johnny! Go, Johnny! Go, go, go! Yates has had five shots and converted four of them. We have been very, very good. Here goes Jack the Yak. He could get himself one here. He could play it square. Could be five for Johnny Yates! <laughs> five goals in a derby to seal promotion. That is one hell of a story. Johnny Yates writing his legend. That's full time. See you later, Northern Counties East Football League Division 1. I won't miss you. Johnny Yates has five with six shots. What a man. It's no surprise that he gets a 10 here. Callum Kirk, 9.5. Without warm it is, I would love to like skip the upgrades. But we're going into a higher division, better players. I'm going to have to take about 20 minutes to upgrade everyone. Whilst we're doing this, it's time to open the door. Yay! Since we have been promoted, it's time to grab a player from one of the teams that we just played. So with the last two players moving to Walkley Wanderers, I had an idea beforehand on who I wanted to pick up. This one, I've gone into it blind, knowing what position 
I would like, that being strength and depth at the centre bike spot. So we're going to bring in Skegness Town's 29 overall centre bike, Dominic Milovanovic. Welcome to the team. I won't have to suffer this heat for much longer because I've got on order a portable air cooler. I think I've never been this excited for something that I've ordered on Amazon before. Last season was an incredible achievement from Walkley Wanderers. We are now in tier 9 of the English football pyramid system. Northern Counties East Football League Premier Division. The teams that will be facing up against Maltby Main, Albion Sports, Yorkshire Amateur, Barton Town, Handsworth and Silsden. Promotion from this division is set at 13 points. Relegation is 4 points or less. And with this being our first year in the Northern Counties East Football League Premier Division, if we achieve survival, none of our players walk away from the club. Pretty obvious what we're going to feel here. By now, you've probably got an idea of who is in the first team. Run out for Milovanovic, a debut. The only position that I'm unsure of is goalkeeper where JJ has been performing well. So has Miles Loft, both now 28 overall. Now looking at Maltby Main, some of the overalls here are higher than what we've seen Owen Thomas start off with in the Crew series. Both their wingers are called Carnu. Quite an amazing coincidence, so they'll be nicknamed the Carnu brothers. Here we go, North East Counties Football League Premier Division. Walkley Wanderers against Maltby Main. Could it possibly be three consecutive promotions on the bounce? I think that is wishful thinking. I'm positive, but I'm also realistic. We are going to feel a step up, more significant than last season. I do think we're going to survive. I don't think we're going to get promoted. I think he's onside because of Danny Crook's side. Oh, well, Miles Loft has been made to look a bit ridiculous there. Maltby Main, strike first. It's a delightful chip. Danny Crook's side, just not aware of that defensive line. Shows his inabilities to play wing back. Can Milovanovic deal with this? The answer, yes. Goal kick Walkley. Jason White underneath it just nods it down to Keshi Vos. This is Sammy Birch. Yes! Danny Crook side at the other end. Nearly equalizes. No midfield coverage. Ah, Joshua Fisher, well played. The forwards that just breeze past Hallam are now feeling pretty slow. Once we get into them attacking spots, those midfielders need to run on it. Doesn't matter if we leave ourselves with uh, problems in defence. Goal difference is not a concern. Well done, Joshua Fisher. Ooh, that's going to draw for Keshi. Good touch as well. Keshi Vos keeps on running. It's Keshi Vos. Oh, still yet to see that spark from him. I mean, if we don't see it before we inevitably get promoted from this division, then we are going to have a buy one, get one free offer and grab both car news. Oh, how's that gone in? Adebayo has scored twice and it looks like this game is over. I've just swapped the goalkeepers so this is JJ's chance to get his number one shirt back. The lovely lofted ball. Could be a hat-trick for Adebayo. Yep. Picked apart by this lad. JJ not doing any better. Tom Adebayo. Well played. Johnny Yates can get it back to Jack Drinkwater for the consolation. Bangor! It's a goal for Walkley. Something for the home fans to cheer about. Jack the Yak in the attack. At it again. Even though there's no debate here. We have been second best. We're continuously seeing signs of progress. These goalkeepers are as bad slash good as each other. So it looks like it's going to be a difficult one this season. Walkley 1, Maltby Main 3. And the day belongs to Tom Adebayo. Johnny Yates on the 7.9, apparently our highest performing player. Absolutely not. That thing should have gone to Joshua Fisher. I'm going to give upgrades here to Jack Drinkwater. Jay Waters was pretty decent at right back. Joshua Fisher yeah, I might just leave it at that. You know what? I just really want to see Keshi Vos do something. Try as I might, I can't get to grips with his playing style. It's off camera, but I've got a clock down in this corner that reads the temperature, and it's the hottest ever recording session. I'm not really surprised because of the new lighting setup. I expected something like this to happen during the summer months. You know, it's getting to the point where I've got to look after my health. This is dangerous working conditions at the moment. So, I would have loved to have uploaded today, being the Wednesday. I'm going to come back tomorrow, Thursday, and finish this episode off. Sorry, guys. I need to get out of this room. If we keep on playing on FIFA, I'm sure my performances will drop. It's just better to play tomorrow, and I will have that air cooler. Fingers crossed that thing works, and it'll be nice and pleasant. So here it is. Pure joy in the box. The thing won't turn on. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. But the thing won't
Oh, turn on! <laughs> you know, this episode hasn't really gone to plan, but sometimes you squad legends is like that. I don't think of it as just a FIFA career mode series. It's kind of an insight to my experiences in daily life without me labeling it as a vlog. That broken air cooler, certainly a first world problem. I'll get over it. I've ordered another one, a proper air conditioning unit. That alongside the new PC, <laughs> my bank balance has been shredded. Before I shut the window on the door, it was already baking in this room. It's getting warmer by the second. It's in my best interest not to have a third game here. But before I go, there's comments that I can read. Harry Dio says, when you get promoted, there should be a one in four chance that a player leaves to a bigger club. Good idea, liked by 116 people, this comment. Also, I can see subscribers getting very annoyed at losing players when we get promoted, so I'm gonna say no to this one. Mitchell posted this comment, you should add a young player at the beginning of each season. Like, a kind of youth academy. Well, maybe not at this level of football, but a little bit later on when the club starts like generating a bit of money. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Let me tell you about the origins of the 4-2-4 formation. The first ever youth squad legends we played with Chesterfield back in FIFA 13, and I just set up in a 4-2-4. I mean, it was a long, long series, 100 episodes, and when we moved on from that series, everybody just expected me to play. 424. So Fleetwood was the next Youth Squad Legends series and a complete disaster. Uh, <laughs> at the start, I was thinking about changing the formation, but the comment section was like, no, keep it at 424. That's the Youth Squad Legends way now, and I've just stuck with it. That is the Youth Squad Legends way. Player of the episode is brought to you by Ajitem Sahas Rabudi. I've tried my best. I've probably butchered it. I do apologize. I'm giving the player of the episode to Johnny Yates. This has been Cutsy. Thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. Next episode will contain more games, guaranteed. If you've enjoyed it anyway, please give the video a like. If you're not subscribed around here yet, press the red box down below in the bell icon for mobile notifications. My face is a mess. See you later. Even like the back of my knee is sweating. Mate, how can this be right? I've been in here for 15 minutes.